He doesn't know his exact birthday. Mohd Altrad was born in a Bedouin tent, in the middle of the Syrian desert. His mother fell gravely ill and died on the day Mohd was born. Because there is no record of his birth, Mohd's true age is unknown. His father was a tyrant, and beat his older brother to death. So he was raised by his grandmother. But she refused to let him go to school. And told him that he had to be a shepherd. I refused my fate. Not wanting to accept his lot in life, he defied his grandmother's will. And trekked 10 miles across the desert every day. Under the blazing sun, barefoot, to go to school. Not enrolled in school, all he could do was spy on classrooms through a hole in the wall. Until a teacher caught him. But seeing Mo's curiosity, he let him sit in on his class. Despite being the poorest in his class, Mo proved to be an excellent student. Jealous of his success, his classmates carried him off into the desert and dug a hole. They shoved him into it head first and ran away. Mo escaped but vowed to never be pushed around again. That's when his luck began to change. My only ambition was not to accept my initial destiny. His discipline and focus earned him a scholarship to study abroad. Broke and alone, he arrived in France during an outpouring of anti-Arab sentiment in 1969. He did not speak a word of French. And barely understood what his professors said. He worked in vineyards, picking grapes for $15 a day, to put himself through a college. but it was time to make his hard work pay off. Taking a chance, he bought a scaffolding company that was on the verge of bankruptcy. But just like him, he say it had amazing potential. He made a bold decision to invest all of his money into the small and struggling company. The company soon made a profit and launched subdivisions in Spain and Italy. Altred Group is now one of the world's leading cement mixer and scaffolding providers. Today, Mo has a net worth $2.5 billion. And he's been made an officer of France's Legion of Honor. His first book, Badawi, originally published in 2002, is now being taught in schools. His children made him pick a number out of a hat to make birthdays easier. Since then, they have been celebrating his birth on March 9th every year.
I am free man that holds on to his freedom.